we introduced our new glass tattoo stencil system at an art glass demonstration days where it was a big hit. We created an 8 inch square snowflake on a clear background. Here's how we did it. So I'm going to choose my spots where I want to put color. So I'm going to put that color blue there and then I'm going to put it also here. So I'm going to put it in all of those same locations. Oh, I just spilt a little there. That's okay. I can clean that up. So you don't have to be so terribly precise to get the glob in there. That's the beauty of this system. Anybody can do this. In fact, you'd be really good at this. Because I know you already know how to color inside the lines. So I'm just going to take that little bit of spill I put in there. It doesn't matter. I can pull it right out of there, as you can see. So now I'm going to use my palette knife, and I'm just going to smooth that over. So all I'm making sure is that I try to keep it from going into any of the other spaces. All right, so we got the first color in. Let's Don't take you have to put another blue out there on that end? Did I miss one? Oh, you're right. Look at that. Good spotting. In fact, I think I missed that one right there, too. Now, I know you wouldn't have made that mistake. You pay attention. I think he knows you pretty well. <laughs> Did I get them all on that side? Yeah. Good. All right, let's put this lighter blue. I'm going to put it around here. So I'm tapping it like that to get the color back into the nozzle. It's pretty. Isn't that nice? Now, I'm going to do something here. One of the things that's cool about this process, you can see what we've done here. So we have, we've mixed yellow and red together to get that mixture. So I'm going to, just for the heck of it, I'm going to throw just a little bit of a blue. I'm going to put a line of blue down the middle of each one of these. See how it mixes it all together like that? So it's just going to be a hint of that darker blue there. All right, so we got our, see how cool that is when you get those mixes of color in there. It just adds a little bit of interest. Let's go with yellow just to give it, because this is a fantasy uh, snowflake. We can make it any color we want. Now one of the things is, of course, if I take yellow and put some glue into it, what color am I going to end up with? Green. You got it. You're sharp. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to use the darker blue and just put a dab right in there. Just to kind of get a little bit of a green tinge to it so that it looks more like the rest of the stuff. Now, I'm going to add some snow to my snowflake. So I'm going to use white fine frit. I'm just going to sprinkle it on here. So I'm adding it in now because I don't want this stuff to be all over the place. I want it to be only where the uh, color is. So all we do is we grab those two corners and we just pick this thing straight up. Oh. And there we have our piece. That, oh. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. So I mean we made it pretty quickly. To be able to do that kind of a design by hand cutting each piece of glass and putting it back into place would take you a long time. And there you have it. This project is ready to go into the kiln. This one was fired to a contour fuse and it's ready to be placed on a slump mold and turned into a beautiful cookie tray. The glass tattoo stencil system is a very simple process, yet it enables any fuser to create beautiful and intricate designs simply and easily.